Hello guys, Kelly here again. Well, I've just lost this video as well as my other one which I've just put. So I've lost two now. Baffling. I think my phone's on its way out. But I've got shot of a couple of shrimps there. Ancient shrimps from the past. They're so old they shouldn't be alive. None of them in here should. They're all absolutely ancient. See a bit of stuff floating about. I have just fed them so there's stuff going everywhere. Sorry, I'm trying to get an Elgin's Cory in there but never going to see him. So I've got multiple Cory's under there. The stuff, oh, what? It's just gone. I was trying to show. You, I've got two new fish in here. I've got um, a couple of rubber nose plex, or rubber mouth lip plex, or bulldog plex. I've heard them called all of them. So, yeah, but I've just lost them. It was just on that bit of kiwi at the back. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go around in a second, try and uh, get him. Show you the the business side. As I say, this is the side that goes into my living room, so next to me dining table, which is just below it. So, yeah. I've put my wave maker back in, because I was getting a massive build-up of muck and detritus down these corners, right this end. Um, and just putting that wave maker in for like two days has cleared it all up baffling how good they are so I am from now on never taking that out again I thought I could do it with just the pump because my pumps way overpowered for this tank um, but I don't run it full crack so but the wave makers just do they just do a belting job of uh, so I didn't even see that other shrimp on the end I was looking at that one and there's one there as well million years old coming out of the caves, another car down there, protein about, another one there, so I say I've got a load of bronze quarries and albano bronze quarries, as well as some elgans quarries that came out of a different tank, there is about 18 pristilla tetras in there at the minute, I think there's 12, sorry there's 11 of um, the big Golden Barbs, because I did lose one in the Wave Maker. That was one of the reasons what made me take it out. But must have been a weird freak accident, because I've never had anything else go in there. But I've got a cover coming tomorrow, which makes it so nothing could ever go in it, which is a bonus. So that'll be on tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, there's a couple of little carries carrying about. I'm going to go and try and get some of my uh, rubber lip plec, but the chances are borderline nil, because as soon as you turn up, he does one. The one, Well, there's a bigger one and a little one. The bigger one's a bit less skittish, but the little one, which is the one what's round there, is real skittish. But he's only a little fish, so at the minute, very young little fish. But yeah. And the... Uh, Black rubies are still fighting each other. That's why they've all got ragged fins. Always fighting. Great fish, don't bother anything else in the tank. So people who want them, don't worry about that. They just fight each other. <laughs> but they never stop. <laughs> there's, look, there's a, there's a fight just about to start here, look. It's gonna kick off. There's gonna be some spinning. Sometimes you get a three-way spin or a four-way and it's amazing. For them. Oh, there's another fight down here. So look, yeah, all the males are just having a to-do. Having a bite of each other's fins. So yeah, you'll see a lot with ragged fins, then they, they leave off for a day, sort themselves out, and then, before you know it, <laughs> they're back at it, ripping the fins about again. So, yeah. Interesting fish to watch, though. Really pretty. Off to the business side. Right, so to the side, as soon as I walked in, me little rubber nose, what was on the kiwi at this side, did one. But yeah, so we're just gonna have a quick look. So there's the big ancestress in there, he's in his cave. There's a few cories under this piece of wood. Uh, it's mostly Bucephalandras, which are starting to grow nice on it. Uh, all of the Anubius on it is all stuff that I broke off that by accident while I was messing about with my siphon. Um, 
yeah, look, he's lost a big piece of tail in the fights. <laughs> um, but yeah, I say I think there's like one or maybe two Odessa barbs still in there, which was the original. There was 36 of them. But I say this tank's probably best bit of five year old, at least four, and they've all started. Yeah, they've, they're all in the way. But say so these Corys must be seven or eight years. What the the bronzes and the albano bronzes, which you can't see because they're in the shadow. It, the big lump there, he's been in three tanks, so he's probably eight, eight and nine year old. And them shrimps, I just don't know, they've just been alive for too long. <laughs> so yeah, the next to go are the um, black rubies. They're starting to go because again, they're of an age now. But they're still decide they want to fight every day. So the um, the big golds are a bit younger than the rest, and so some of them Pristillas, they was in a different tank. Well, twelve of them was, I think six of them a newish. Just trying to find them. Oh, Plex are a nightmare to find when they don't want to be found. I suppose it's the point. They're not like him. They're not a big yellow thing that you can see. They're the sneaky thief. Um, rubber nose ones, but yeah, so that's the business side of the tank where you know the cabinet and um, my sump and everything are, and the lights and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's going well. Say, so just having the wave maker on for a day has made all the difference to how clean the substrate is, even though it's a bit mucky at the minute. I so say you can see stuff on it, but well, that's because it's, it's food and it's just gone in. <laughs> probably a couple of minutes before I did this video because I'd already done a video with feeding and everything and that just it saved it and then it deleted it so well but yeah going all right this tank's also going right where you can't really see out because I've just turned the light down there's a big fat lad there though <laughs> but I've turned the light down you won't see him because it's uh, black mollies and stuff in there and you know you won't see him anyhow in the dark all the fish you could see in the dark there, not on. So yeah, going well. Till rubber nose plex and the wave maker back on. So thanks for watching. Bye.